Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to get a video out uh, of how I go about Craigslisting. Um, so Craigslist is unlike any other sales page that I've ever seen. Um, as far as what you type in or what you search is exactly what you get. So say you're wanting to buy a diesel pickup, right? Well, you know, obviously diesel, that's how it's spelled. Uh, there's 2,025 listings. Uh, now, if you spell it a different way, which, uh, you know, minor spelling error, you get 84 listings. Now, this can be a prime opportunity for some people as, say, this, this pickup, whether it's a good deal or not, may have been on there for you know, several weeks and that person hasn't gotten a call and maybe they're kind of losing hope and you can call them and I hate to say lowball them, but offer them a lower price because they've been waiting to sell that for so long. But I, I do that. I use that same tactic on a lot of things that I search for. Um, I guess say, uh, like I buy a lot of motorized, small motorized, um, I guess, uh, like play or off road equipment, I guess. Um, but I found the word Baja, they make Baja bikes. Um, it's a good word to go off of. We'll run through here real quick and see if I can give you a good example of something. This might not be a bad deal. That's actually a really good deal. Those sell for $99 at Lowe's. Ah, oh, I can only email them. Dang. That sucks. Um, anyhow, um, we'll keep looking here. Uh, Oh, they make these little Baja bikes. Some people call them doodle bugs. They're kind of cute. They normally come with a 49cc motor. There's one. Now, I try and snag these for like 150 bucks. Uh, I've bought a lot of them through the past, and you can oftentimes, what I do is I'll, I'll buy them, and then I'll, most of the time they're not in running shape, but it's easy just to clean off a spark plug. Uh, I mean, it's everything that you can, just a YouTube video. These motors, they're, they're all Chinese motors, and they're super simple to work on. Uh, and the parts are easy to get. Uh, all the parts for these bikes are really simple to get, except for the clutches. A lot of times you got to order those, but they're only like 20 bucks. Um, but yeah, I, I buy those all day long and then just clean them up with a pressure washer, a little bit of degreaser, and then resell them. Um, and then, oh, let's see if that's anything worthwhile. No. So we'll go back. I'll show you another word. Let's see. Motorized. You can pick up motorized bicycles. And that's the trick is you only want to search like one word. Your listings, you'll get a lot more listings. But, uh, I mean, a lot of the times, sometimes people will list them, you know, motorized bicycle or motorized bike. If you type in motorized bike, you're not going to get motorized bicycle. Uh, so just type in motorized and then you'll see something like this, which probably not the best deal. I mean, it, you might be able to flip that for 50 bucks um, if it runs and operates really well. But here's something of this sort. Like people are always looking for modes of cheap modes of transportation. And these bikes are, I mean, they're kind of fun. I've ridden them a lot, but, uh, I mean, you could probably flip that for 250 bucks and realistically that's an easy 75 bucks if you're close by. That one's a ways for me, but let's see. So just the kits are 140 bucks. So if you got it on a bike, that's even more money and it. It's kind of a pain to install them. Um, but those are just some good examples. Another things that I look for that are easy flips are in, let's see, for sales. And we'll go into always check the free section. 
you can always get screaming deals on stuff. And st some of the things may not always work, but like the bottles you can turn into cool cool things. Um, let's see. Uh, like you can cut them in half, uh, make normal drinking glasses, smooth out the edges. And it's really cheap to do that. Um, those countertops, uh, you can use those for forms for uh, concrete countertops. Um... Washers and dryers, let's see, it still turns on tumble, but I get hot like it used to. Um, washers and dryers hit and miss. You can, I mean, it's not too hard. If you're mechanically inclined, uh, you can fix them. You, uh, oftentimes, like, you, you can flip these things. If they still work, you can flip them for works, but it does not get hot. You know, you can flip them for 50 bucks if they still work. It's just easy money for free if you need the startup cash. Uh, free pallets, those are always a good find. I can get free pallets basically anywhere around the valley, though. Um, we have a lot around here. A lot of distribution centers will just give them away for free. And those, I mean, you can make all kinds of crafts. Hopefully, I will, I'll get my garage ready to go in the next couple of days, and I can get some videos out on that. Um, supposedly, video games are an awesome flip when you're eBaying, I haven't gotten into that all that much. Um, here's another thing. I love checking tools just because it's, it's things that I'm into. And that's what you'll find is that it's things that you enjoy. Other people will enjoy, and you'll probably know more about like the, the true value. Um, and a lot of people, like when they search for something, they're just set on finding something that they, they're, they're impulsive. They want to buy something. So as soon as, even if you list it for, you know, ten dollars off of retail value half the time they'll they'll buy it i mean it saves them tax you know depending on what condition it is and it, it may still be a good deal and you can get a lot of new you know still in the package uh things off of off of craigslist let's see if i can find a good example in the tool section a roll air compressor i <laughs> that's kind of sketchy i <laughs> I actually had a roll air. I, I almost got arrested for grand theft. It's another thing you got to be very careful for on Craigslist. Uh, buying certain items, uh, be very wary. Um, if you have any doubts, run it through your local police station first because it is not worth going what I went through. I was drawn out of my, out of my truck at gunpoint. Uh, I bought a what I thought to, was to be a, a construction business going out. They had a really good story. Um, I talked to them multiple times about it over the phone, met up with them, and everything seemed legit. So I bought the tools. And then uh, there was a couple tools that I didn't need anymore. And so I sold some of them. And I, I got ripped out of my truck at gunpoint. Uh, by the police force here or the sheriff's department and uh yeah we had uh i had a lot of explaining to do for that one but they uh they let me go i had to get an attorney and all that stuff but it it worked out to be all right uh, some of these vintage tools too you can get for cheap uh if you look on pinterest and whatnot you can cut these saws if you're very crafty at all or artsy you can cut these saws down and uh Kind of like put uh, like cowboys and horses and cows and things like that. Those sell for a lot of money too. Uh, another nice thing about living where I do in in Idaho is it's uh, oh, Boise, the capital, is the fastest growing city in the nation, and so there's a lot of people moving in looking for decorations and such. Which I'll show you kind of what I do for some uh, another method of of uh, income is I build uh, tables and uh, shelves and other decorations based on the town that, or the, the state that I live in. Kind of gives them some, some pride in the state, I guess. Um, let's see here. And don't get discouraged because it does take a lot of time scrolling through here, but once you get the hang of it, I, I don't Craigslist as much as I used to. Um, I found a couple, 
a couple other methods, but this is a great start. This teaches you a lot. Um, and here it kind of sucks because I'm in, you know, we have such extreme uh, temperatures during the, or a temperature change during the, the winter. We don't have garage sales during the winter. Uh, so it's very hard to, to do that um, during the winter. But those are, a, it's a very good means. Uh, whether you buy it and sell it on Craigslist, Craigslist is, you know, easy, fast cash, or whether you sell it on eBay, which is, uh, it takes a little bit longer, but kind of somewhat, but you can, uh, you can make a lot more money doing that. Um, boy. This is another reason why you pick certain things. The tool section just intrigues me a lot, though. I, I get a lot of ideas off of there. Some tools I haven't seen before. Some people make different tools, and it's kind of neat to see. But it's uh, it's kind of nice. I mean, I used to flip uh, welders from Harbor Freight. You can normally buy those on here for like 50 bucks, and people don't really know what they are. You can sell them for 100 bucks. Uh, it's just an easy flip, and it doesn't take a whole lot of time. Half the time, you can get people to drop them off. If they're if they're selling stuff on Craigslist, odds are they need the money. Um, so I mean, it, it, it's kind of interesting. the 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 Craigslist crowd is more of like the I don't want to say desperate, but a lot of the times they are. Uh, people are lazy, and uh, that's a two hundred dollar saw. I wouldn't mind having that saw. It looks a little worn out. Um, people are a little lazy when it comes to selling things. It's like, you know, they only, they're only they only going to sell them when they need money, whether it's taking up space. And that's kind of human nature anyways. I'm already back to what I've already looked over today. Just kind of a dead day, I guess. Weekends are kind of a really hit and miss deal. A lot, you'll, you'll see that... Uh, People are a lot more active um, selling and buying. I sell the majority of my stuff on the weekends, even though I'm available during the weekends or uh, during the weekdays. And I wouldn't buy too many. Just keep in mind if you're going to go after tools, I mean, that's why I strongly suggest that you go after things that you know. Um, tools. <laughs> You can buy a, a Harbor Freight, which for those of you who don't know what Harbor Freight is, they're just cheap Chinese knockoff tools, basically, that aren't necessarily quality tools. And it's, uh, you know, they look like a great price, but you cannot turn them because everyone knows what they are. <sighs> well, we can come back to that later. We'll go back up to the top here. Go back to the main section. We'll jump down furniture and I'll kind of go over that with you guys. Just try and, try and hopefully give you guys some ideas of what I look for and hopefully you guys can put your own spin on it and find some passion in it. Um, basically in furniture, it's the cheaper the better. And I like fixing things too. So if I find something broken for, you know, little to nothing, it's... Uh, definitely getting bought um and in the furniture section if you're a builder like i am um you can often find cool ideas i saw a, a sink actually made from a barrel a wine barrel and it was that was kind of a neat idea i've seen a couple on pinterest and stuff but for someone to actually do it in the valley was it was kind of neat to see But I'll uh, I'll get some I'll get some Craigslist uh, transactions recorded as well. Boom. Let's see what is this. See, this is actually a not a bad deal. You could pick this table up. You could probably talk her into her him, uh, talk them, it, however you want to word that, into taking say ten dollars. For that table you might even try five or seven um and you could probably get 30 40 if you flipped it immediately but you what i would do is i would buy that 
and then you could either you could do one of two things is you could fix it up and uh, just go on Pinterest or, or research you know vintage or uh, like rustic how to how to make something rustic or uh, distressed uh, and you could essentially like distress that um, Pinterest is, I, I would say Pinterest is the best idea uh, go on there check it out um, and it'll give you some great ideas, but, uh, it's either, you know, pick it up and relist it on here, which let's see another good idea is to check how many days it's been listed. So 19 days and she could have just dropped the price today. It says price reduced. I don't know why they include that because who really cares? Um, like other than you're telling everyone, you're kind of warning everyone that you haven't sold it, which is hilarious in my mind. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm going to be able to talk you down. But anyways, you could list that on uh, the Facebook marketplace as well. Uh, other apps like let go. Uh, there's a couple other ones out there. I just haven't played around with them all that much. Um, that's kind of neat, actually. But yeah, it's just kind of cool ideas, things that I've never seen before. It's always good to get ideas. Because who knows? I mean, you'd, we might end up making one on the channel. Something that we see on here. And then we could make big dollars. That's not a bad deal. Replace the knobs. Polish it up a bit. There's all sorts of options on here. But anyways, guys, hopefully I inspired you to, to get out there and check some stuff out. Um, yeah, if you got any questions, let me know. Like I said, I'll try and get some actual transactions so you guys kind of understand it more. And then I can show you that it actually does work and what to look for. But anyways, guys, I appreciate your time. Hopefully everyone's having a good night. Take care.